what's up what's good what's going on family so let's jump in and get a quick daily increase <clears throat> for this beautiful venus day y'all it is gorgeous outside um i hope that this message is finding you all in good health and in good spirits this is going to be for your sun moon rising north node venus as well as that ninth house very particular messages here on the mandula awakening for your ninth house but even with that being said let's just take what resonates and bless someone else with the best all right, Spirit, let's see. What is on offer for my lovely Sag? It's on the flow, y'all. Ooh, initiatory experience. So there's a, there's a powerful experience um, that is on offer for you today. It's saying that your current situation is initiating your gifts. So whatever situation that you're facing today, it is illuminating um, you to uh, make sure that you're choosing wisely weighing up your options and not just going with decisions recklessly because I do feel like that you're being elevated you're being initiated um, I do feel like that you're initiating your gifts as this is exactly what is on offer here okay so beautiful energy so far oh we left one card behind and it's Buddha heightened awareness make peace with your thoughts in your world I feel like that that's significant especially with it being on top of miracles here I feel like that that's significant because I feel like that in order to welcome in these miracles and these blessings that are trying to be bestowed upon you, one must uh, release the negative thoughts, be, be mindful of making sure that we're having peaceful thoughts. Let's see, what is the energy that is meeting Sagittarius today? What is the energy that Sagittarius is facing at this current moment? What is the energy that Sagittarius is currently facing? What is the current situation that is initiating their gift spirit? What is the current situation that is initiating their gifts? Thank you. Ooh. This is something that will be taking place. And so, the, um, so I guess what's take the situation, your current situation is making choices and decisions for the future with the future in mind there has to be an awareness of the future be mindful of the feelings that you're feeling now as that's what is manifesting into your future go with the flow so there's something to do with your present perception but the energy that you're currently facing is manifesting and creating your future. That's the energy that you're in. So the awareness of your feelings and your thoughts is very important here. Let's see. To weigh up your options, choose the highest good. Um, show, us, show us the theme of the day for Sagittarius, please. Guys, I hope that this message is finding you all in good health and in good spirits. Y'all know I get lost in when I look at these cards. All right, Spirit, can you show us the theme of the day? What are the challenges of the day? What is the advice to get Sag through the day? What's on the other side? And then what is the energy of Sagittarius, please? So it looks like, ooh, the theme of the day is the Empress. Love it. Um, what's with sandwiching on top of it? Ooh, ooh, the Ace of Cups. Ooh, the Queen of Swords here. Um, I'm just gonna flow with this reading instead of I'll get so tell us all through it. But definitely the theme of the day is um, receiving, sitting back and receiving these. Allow the day. You're gonna feel like. Blessings on blessings on blessings. I don't know how that song goes, but that's what I'm hearing. Um, the Empress of the Ace of Cups has really given me, for one, this is Venus Day. The Empress is Venus energy. So I definitely feel like that you're going to be feeling secure, loved, nurtured. Like, I don't know. There's an overflow today of something for you, Sagittarius. Um, however, I do feel like that you may come off as quite Queen of Sword ish. Okay, I do see Sagittarius showing up as the Queen of Swords. 
which is very uh, this is beautiful energy um, when we're using it to cut away things that are no longer serving us but when we're using the queen of swords as a defense mechanism then she tends to come off as quite bitter so there is a need to be mindful of that the challenge of the day is the three of wands see that's the thing the foresight is the challenge of the day and that makes a lot of sense with understanding that what you are dealing with today it is literally yes every decision that we make it is affecting our future but i feel like that the sagittarius that is resonating with me i feel like that there is a major situation today that is walking you in to where you're headed in the future okay so make sure that you are not just making um impulsive i just heard insecure decisions and make sure that you're really allowing your foresight to guide you here the advice is the ten of wands you can't like there's something that you're trying to take on but it's not sustainable for the long term okay this sparrow that I just watched fly all the way over here. So I definitely feel like that um, you have to be mindful of what you're signing up for and really make sure that you're not biting off more than you can chew. What's on the other side is the nine of cups. I feel like that if you set the, like there's something where part like, this isn't the time to be over giving, over indulgent, especially if it's not something that you would be willing to do in the long term. Be aware of the way that certain decisions and choices that you're making today make you feel. Um, and if it's not something that you want over time, then nip it in the bud is what I would hear, is what I would say. 13 wands that breaks down to four. There's an opportunity for stability here. I do feel like that there is an opportunity for stability for you to receive stability. But this is the energy of really making sure that you're in your feminine energy, making sure that you are receiving and not so much over giving um, or or with excessively withholding due to um feelings and discontent from the past that may be displayed as bitter here in the present mm -hmm. all right yeah the nine of pentacles see your manifest ooh six of wands you're manifesting in some attention you're manifesting in some attention um i feel like that your level of independence and stability and um, I don't know, there's there's something that you're exhibiting and it is manifesting in some major attention here, without a doubt. Um, yes, ooh, 66 could be significant. Wow, six of swords to the 10 of cups. This is like, you're definitely manifesting in some attention. Um, there could be like, you're definitely moving on to calmer waters. You're definitely moving on to happier times. So do be mindful of what it is that of not biting off more than you could chew um, before you get to enjoy the nine of cups. Don't be signing up for more than what you got to give. You're already manifesting in some beautiful attention. Let's see. Why is the three of wands here for the challenge? Show us some insight into this. Definitely needing to weigh up your options and choose the highest good you know the three of wands it's all about your your uh, ships coming in so uh, um you know that tough hashtag tough love reading um it was when the three of wands came up it was asking are you going to be at the bitter dock or are you going to be at the happy dock the new dock with the queen of swords here it's really about come on the challenge is is something is closer than you imagine um, and I don't think that you're necessarily seeing it that way. You're not. And this is really giving me the energy of you can finally make choices and decisions with confidence and not the need of inc like I I'm really f feeling the need to say, like, you don't have to make the choice that you feel like gets you included or that gets you accepted. Not saying go out here and just start offending everybody. But I am saying that you have what it takes to confidently stand in your power. 
And if you do so, then this is not a challenge. But if you still allow insecurities to guide your decision making, then you're not really necessarily thinking about the future. And that's where spirit needs you at your foresight. Let's see. Yeah, the seven of wands have faith in what's coming in. Things may not be moving the way that you would like it to be moving, but it's moving in your favor. You have to have faith in that. So the three of wands is the challenge spirit. Can you illuminate more? Wow, the four of wands. I'm telling you, I just told you that it's when I added the three of wands and the ten of wands, we got 13 wands. I said, that's the four of wands. What's coming in is a solid relationship. A solid stability, solid foundation is coming in. Whether this be a relationship, a job, a new home, whatever the case, this is coming in. But the challenge is, is it may not be coming in fast enough. And so it's affecting the way that you're making decisions today. And the decisions that you're making today are the very thing that is creating a way for this to come in. So if your foresight is fucked, then you're kind of delaying or even diverting this four of wands. Yes, anxiety. So there could be some anxiety over a relationship that's coming in, over some stability that's coming in. Um, so just be mindful of that. Wow, high priestess, listen to your intuition. You know it's coming. And I feel like that that's the thing that's creating the, the, like, the anxiety is because you know that it's coming, but it may not be coming fast enough for you. But you don't want to rush the time according to... What is time? You know what I'm saying? Like, what is time? So just, like, patience is a virtue. Um, make sure that you're slowing down enough so that you can consider the present moment and allow that your actions in the present moment are calling in the future that you desire. Wow. I'm looking at the Ten of Wands for the way through the challenge, and we have the Emperor. But when the card was flipping over, I was like, mm, I wonder what this four of wands is, is what I was thinking. And y'all seen the way that this flipped over. We have the emperor. Baby, this is a divine match. Like it is. So I really do feel like, like I'm telling you, like for those of you all that this is a relationship, it doesn't necessarily have to be. This could be a job. But either way it goes, it's really understanding that you don't have to put, like you don't have to overextend yourself here in this situation wow wow this is a match this the match this is the match and it's like i don't like i don't this way yes i was gonna say i don't know how to show it to you based off of the way that i'm seeing it but they are an energetic match they are attracted to one another they are looking at each other it's almost like they're taking a keen look at one another to see how it will work in the long run it is going to require some faith there goes that seven of wands there it is going to require some faith but whoever this emperor is they are an energetic match to you from your empress like they're like your theme of the day is the empress to get into receiving mode this part when you get in receiving mode this person is an energetic match when you get this person is going to stimulate you mentally this person is going to stimulate you mentally. This is someone that, like, I just feel like you don't have to rush this. Um, even if this is only a boss, this isn't someone that you have to go and um, try to, like, sign, like, earn extra cookie points. You don't have to do that with this um, person. They are naturally attracted to you and like what you do. Um, the Nine of Cups is what's on the other side. The Nine of Cups. I didn't bring any love cards out here, but I felt confident that these cards were enough to get us through the reading. So, hey, um, the nine of cups for what's on the other side. The ace of pentacles, yo. And the justice, oh my goodness, this is beautiful. This is a very tangible offer that is, um, it, it holds more than I mean, all aces are potential, but with the nine of cups here, this is really saying that you can bring this into fruition. Like on the other side, this is you getting a tangible opportunity to bring um, whatever it is that you've been wishing for and calling in into fruition. You can bring it into fruition. Mm. Two aces, the ace of pentacles and the ace of cups. 
oh my goodness, the justice and the hierophant. The hierophant was at the top, justice at the bottom. This could link this for a lot of people. Um, this here is an engagement ring. So some like I'm not saying that what's on the other side doesn't necessarily have to be um, immediate, but for some of you all, it could. There's definitely a solid offer here. Um, a solid offer that's coming in and that it has the potential to lead to prenuptials. You know what I'm saying? Shit. Not prenuptials. I guess a prenup. I guess you may sign a prenup or a contract with this person. However, like, I feel like that there's a marital contracts here. Possibly some sort of contract that could come in on the other side of this. Some of you all, they're just is an opportunity to finally get a contract hammered out get the details of a contract hammered out but you must weigh up your options and choose the highest good let me get a clarifying life situation this is a beautiful reading honey give me just a second all right family let's go ahead and get this clarifying life situation What is the clarifying life situation here for my lovely Sagittarian Ninth House Collective? Thank you, Spirit. We do have the upright. So, ooh, Dream Weaver. Dreaming and imagining brings your powerful vision into reality. That's everything this reading is. Allow your imagination to roam today. Be high vibrational about what it is that you're imagining and calling into your life. You're definitely calling in something stable, solid, beautiful. Um, I'm not going to lie. When I get the four of wands and the emperor and the empress, I can't say that that's not a divine counterpart. Okay. It's definitely a divine match. Okay. And it, it is being brought in based off of the way that you, what you're dreaming about, what you're, what you're imagining is what is coming in. Ride the current is here. Embrace change, flow with the rhythm and release resistance. Answers unfold in the dance of transition. Go with the flow. Someone also needs to get near water, get out in nature. And then we have steady progress here at the bottom of the deck. Move with deliberate care as patience and attentive, attentiveness guides you to thoughtful achievements. Oh my goodness, everything in this reading is really about your mindset. Um, definitely about your mindset. I, I feel like that you're protected. Um, trust the process. Just wanted to show face. Protected and trust the process. So there's definitely something that is unfolding. It is Knight of Pentacles energy unfolding. So there's no need to rush this. But I definitely feel like that this is solid. What is the numerology to help Sag navigate this situation today? To close this out. 666. Six, six, reflect. Love, affection, compassion, kindness, attention, self-love. Several unexpected developments will enter your life and impact how you feel. This is a chance to reevaluate your identity. You need a mental shift towards greater optimism, self-assurance, and trust. Put your faith in your gut and inner voice. Pay attention to your feelings and use them to help you become a better person. At the bottom of the deck, we have 1010. It's up to you. Um, moderation, patience, flow, clarity, joy, movement, self-realization, taking action, unconditional love. It's time to put those long cherished ideas into action. You will soon come into contact with the appropriate individuals, circumstances, and resources. Eventually, you will experience joy as well as brand new opportunities. Trust the process. I love it. Thank you, Spirit. I love it. Spirit said, just in case, there's a real promise. You can trust it. You can trust it. There's something real coming in. And then at the top of the deck, we have 3333, 33, social skills, hope, op hope, optimism, liberation, success, prosperity, excitement, and enthusiasm. The problems you have today will eventually disappear. Your guardian angels encourage you to maintain a positive outlook on life since your luck may be about to change. It is time to put to use your captivating energy and inspirational personality. Don't let the ego get the best of you. All right, Sagittarius, I absolutely love you. I am looking forward to see what this beautiful day has in store. If this message has resonated, we would absolutely appreciate that thumbs up down below. And in all that we say and in all that we do moving forward, let's choose peace.